Are you a millennial thinking about being a homeowner but crazy worried about having regrets? Well, today I'm going to give you some tips to avoid some of those missteps that can trigger some of those feelings. So stay tuned. This is what you need to know. Before we get started, I know you're probably scouring the net trying to get any information you could get your hands on. You'll want to check out my free Millennial Home Buying Guide. I put a link to it in the description below. And if you're watching this video on a mobile device, just click the title of this video and the description pops right up. I'm Lisa Kelly, Lakeland Homes and Lifestyles with Premier Realty. I create videos that are all about what you need to know to make smart decisions when buying or selling a home. And sometimes just what's going on in the greater Lakeland area. So thanks for joining me today. I was blown away by a recent national study that reported that a staggering 43% of millennials who bought a home in 2019 had some level of regret. So I looked into why, and more importantly, how these missteps could have been avoided in the first place. Here's five common regrets that millennial home buyers experience and how they can be avoided. A great mortgage payment can save you a load of money over time and can make a difference on your monthly payment. Your credit score also plays a huge factor in determining which rate you qualify for. Obviously, the better your credit score, the better the rate. Sometimes it's the simplest things you could do to make a huge positive impact on your credit score. Your realtor should be able to hook you up with a great lender who will advise you exactly what you need to do in order to get the best rate possible. Please don't blow this step off. Even if it means waiting 30 days for your credit score to reflect the positive adjustment, you'll be so glad you did. When you're renting, rent amounts can fluctuate based on the supply and demand. But when you own a home, your payments are fixed. However, taxes, insurance, and HOA fees can fluctuate. Just because the principal and interest payment does fit your budget, make sure the added cost of the homeowner's insurance, HOA fees, and property taxes are taken into account when you're determining your overall monthly payment budget. The area you choose to buy in controls this factor. Again, your realtor should be offering you solid advice of how this affects your personal situation. Fully understanding all the factors that go into your entire monthly payment will certainly avoid any surprises down the road once you're in your new home. Don't be shy about hammering your realtor with questions during showings like, what schools are assigned to the neighborhood? How long will my commute be to work during certain hours? Any noise issues from nearby streets? Are there any major building plans in the near future for our area? How close is this neighborhood to outdoor activities such as parks and walking trails or biking trails or dog parks? And finally, be proactive. Inquire about what local public meetings are available to learn what's on the horizon for your chosen neighborhood. Avoid any feelings of regrets by knowing the answers to these questions and more. This empowerment is only going to validate your good decisions when buying a home. If you're concerned about buying a home that may be too large, do some research. Find out what the electric, water, and gas bills are estimated to be. Are there any eco-friendly or energy-efficient appliances in the home? Have there been any renovations that could save you money in the long run? Is there a space to grow, maybe for a nursery or a study? Avoid having any regrets about the size of home you purchase by doing a little snooping and taking into consideration your future family plans. Oh my gosh, you've been in the house three months. Your AC stops working. You've got this annoying bathroom drip going on and you discover you have a minor roof leak. I'm not saying all this is going to happen to you, but happens. Now you're kicking yourself for buying this house that's devouring your entire monthly budget. Avoid these types of things by doing first things first. Get a complete professional home inspection done right away the moment that you're in contract for purchase, even if you are buying new construction. You'll then have a formal report to indicate items that need to be repaired or replaced soon. If the seller does not address these items and you love this home so much that you're moving forward with closing, just make sure that you have budgeted for these items and you have a home warranty policy in place. Being prepared for those unexpected homeowners costs will definitely go a long way to avoiding those feelings of regrets. Again, thanks for joining me today. I hope you got a little something out of this video today. And if you did, give me a thumbs up 
and hit the subscribe button. I'm here every single Monday with a new video to empower you to make good decisions when buying and selling a home. Just a reminder, you'll find a copy of all the links and my contact information below here in the description. I created the Millennial Home Buying Guide specially for Millennials, so check it out. Until then, I'll see you on the next one.